Dear colleagues, my name is Vicente Gotto Fernandez, member of the Interfaces Project, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to the Unit 1.2 of this MOOC course. The pre this presentation deals with the basic concepts in the field of sustainable chemistry and biocatalysis for the development of chemical processes. The final aim of organic reactions has evolved along the years, starting from the possibility to perform interesting transformations, moving to the benefits of attaining a desired product in good chemical yield and high purity, and more recently focusing on the design of chemical processes in a sustainable and green manner. Different ecological disasters and human tragedies succeed along the 20th century war in human society about the progressive planet destruction. This led to national and international agencies to think about the consequences of developing chemical processes using hard reactions conditions, producing significant amount of undesired and toxic products, and waste economic and material resources. Therefore, a change of mind from a chemical point of view was requested. Thus, 12 principles were enunciated defining the characteristics of a green process, which are briefly summarized as the reduction of waste generation, avoidance of using dangerous material or producing toxic products, take advantage of the use of natural renewable sources, develop catalytic transformations, and focus on economic aspects but also sustainability. More in detail and to make it easier to remember, these 12 principles were collected along the productively acronym, considering the privation of waste, use of renewable materials, omit tedious protection deprotection sequence in chemical roots, synthesize degradable chemical products, employ synthetic metho methods by taking advantage of the use of catalytic reagents under mild reaction conditions, be able to monitorize in real time the chemical processes without the need of using so many auxiliary substances that would decrease the factor of our process, and finally, paying a special attention to the toxicity of chemical products by developing an overall safe and green process. To achieve these aims, there are so many aspects that need to be considered. The first of all can be the solvent, because of the different solubility of reactants and catalysis in aqueous or organic media. And why not? Also, we need to consider that the best options could be free solvent reactions that will drastically decrease the amount of waste in our process. Also, the optimization of reaction conditions in terms of temperature, pressure, and reaction time is so important to save money, energy, and time. For that reason, it is still important to develop robust analytic methods for the process monitorization in real time. The use of catalytic reagents to accelerate chemical reactions is also important, having different possibilities depending on their nature, such as organometallic chemistry, biocatalysis, organocatalysis, and photocatalysis. And finally, focusing on economic aspects, the recycling and reuse of the catalyst and solvent is always, is always need to be considered. Last but not least, it is important to consider that single reaction provides valuable products, but their stepwise synthesis are usually long and time consuming. So, the development of multi catalytic processes, such as cascade reactions, would perfectly fit in the sustainable chemistry concept. Exclusively focusing on biocatalysis, it must be defined as the use of enzymes from biological sources to speed up chemical reactions. Thus, enzymes are proteins with catalytic efficiency able to promote chemoselective reaction, distinguishing between different functional groups in a molecule, radioselective transformations differentiating between identical functional groups in, a di in different molecular areas, and stereoselectivity, when selecting, for instance, a single enantiomer for an arotemic mixture. More information regarding the different selectivity displayed by enzymes will be discussed in section 1.2.2 by Professor Ivan Lavandera from the University of Oviedo. Enzymes ideally work under very soft reaction conditions, allowing multiple transformations, moving from the traditional ones to unexpected reactions, discipline that is called biocatalytic promiscuity. Their biodegradability perfectly associates them to the sustainable chemistry concept, being possible that recycling and reuse when they are immobilized in different carriers and supports. Finally, it must be highlighted the possibility to improve the enzyme behavior by modifying its amino acid sequence, so the catalysis of new reactions and the improvement of enzyme activity is therefore possible.
The reasons behind the perfect match of green chemistry and biocatalysis can be identified when comparing the principles of green chemistry and enzyme action fulfilling 10 out of 12 of the requirements, the other two being more associated to the product characteristic rather than the process. For instance, biotransformations are environmentally friendly processes uh, obtained from natural sources and used in catalytic quantities and work under very mild reaction conditions, usually at room temperature and physiological pH. To adequately group the enzyme actions, the enzyme commission has elaborated a classification consisting of codes with the letter EC from the commission and later four digits that define the role that a biocatalyst is developing in a determined process. First, the reaction that catalyzes the substrate class of the transfer molecules, the co-substrate nature, and individual enzyme number. For instance, EC3113 refers to the hydrolase class acting over ester bonds, particularly a carboxylic ester hydrolase with 3-acylglycerol as the model substrate. In this manner, seven different enzyme classes can be found, six of them having catalytic activity and the translocases just serving to promote the movement of ions or molecules across membranes. From the possible reactions that can be catalyzed, it can be mentioned that oxidoreductases are involved in redox transformations, such as reductions, oxidation, or oxygenation processes. Transferases allow the transfer of chemical groups, highlighting the role of transaminases in amine chiral synthesis. Hydrolases can catalyze hydrolytic or reverse synthetic processes depending on their use in aqueous or organic solvents. Lyases promote the addition or elimination of small molecules or multiple bonds. Isomerases are responsible of the most common isomerization and rearrangement. And finally, ligases allows the formation of cleavage or determined bonds with concomitant triphosphate cleavage. Another important fact is the catalyst form, so it can be used in purified or wholesale form. The use of purified enzymes being more predicted, so less byproduct can be formed. And simple reaction setups on the process are required for product isolation. On the other hand, the use of microorganisms involves the use of more economic process, since external cofactor addition is not required in these multi-enzymatic factories. Also, also, normally, product formation and recovery are less efficient. Without any doubt, the possibility to immobilize both catalyst forms allow the development of more robust protocols where the reuse of the enzyme is possible. Finally, pros and cons have been considered for the use of enzymes in organic synthesis. On the other side, we know that enzymes are sensitive reagents to drastic conditions, occurring sometimes their inhibition and denaturalization. They prefer water as solvent since this is this, the natural media, so the solubility of hydrophobic substrates can be a problem. Enzymes are very specific in terms of substrate and cofactor. Their intrinsic chirality due to, due to their l amino acid compositions determine their stereoselectivity. Enzymes suffer inhibitions by the presence of products or substrate, and in many cases they are expensive when compared with traditional organocatalysts or metal species. However, there are many advantages from the use of enzymes. They are biodegradable catalysts. They work under mild pressure and um, temperature conditions, saving energy and money. Enzymes display high activity in comparison with non-catalyzed reactions. Biotransformations are very selective processes, nowadays able to accelerate any single chemical transformation. Different enzymes are compatible when developing cascade transformations. Additionally, continuous advances in mobilization techniques and evolution and bioinformatic techniques provide additional solutions, which make them more attractive for the industrial sector. Appear in recent years by technology companies that provide own products and enzymes to the market or work on customer demand. Thanks for watching it and consider the enzymes for synthetic processes.